Alrighty, hello guys, welcome to Faces Back to another Stormworks video. This one's gonna be like a mini tutorial kind of thing. I'm gonna be learning at the same time, but what we're gonna try and do is make tank tracks work. Okay, so the way we're gonna do this is we're gonna just build a tiny little prototype thingamabobby. We're gonna put some tracks on it, and I'm gonna try and show you guys what logic you need to actually make it work like a tank. So, let's go and try and do this, and we'll see if it works. Okay, so I was just experimenting, and this is a vehicle I've created. It does actually work, so let's go ahead and I'll show you guys how it works. Uh, it is inverted at the minute, I just need to change the uh, the threshold gates, and that's it. So at the minute, W makes it go forwards, uh, S should make it go backwards, yep, there we go. Uh, if we want to turn left and right, we go ahead and we press A, and that'll start turning us left. Well, actually, that'll start turning us right, it's because it's inverted at the minute. And if we press D, it'll start turning us left. Now, at the minute, it doesn't appear to want to spin on the spot, uh, which is something that I kind of want, but um, maybe that's because it's not powerful enough. It might be the case. Yeah, it seems like it might be the case. Anyway, I'm going to show you guys how to create this thing real quick. So, let's start again. Okay, so this is how we're going to do it. Uh, we're going to go ahead and do this real quick. We're going to make a big old platform so that we can actually build on it. There we go, there we go, there we go. We're going to go ahead and put the tank track in. We're going to go ahead and put the wheel of the tank track in. That'll connect them both together. They have to be the same size, otherwise they won't work. They won't connect to each other. All right, cool. We're going to go ahead and put a small motor in, just for the tests. There we go. We're going to go ahead and put a big battery at the back. That's okay. And we need to go ahead and get a pilot seat, or something that we're going to use as a control, to put in the middle. Okay, let's go ahead and put that right there. Good. Uh, right, okay, so the next things that you need is a threshold gate. We're going to go ahead and put that right there. And a numerical switch box. There we go, good. Now that you've got all of those sorted out, let's go ahead and put them all together. So, uh, the way this is going to work is this throttle is going to connect to the switch box. It can only connect to one node, so just go ahead and do that. That's okay. Uh, then you go from the switch box off position to W and S. Do the same on the other one as well. There we go. Good. The uh, threshold gate thingamabobby is going to go to A and D on both of them. That's all A-OK. -okay. We then need to go ahead and give everything power. There we go. You've got power. You've got power. And they've all got power now. That's good. And then what you want to do is you want to go into select. Click on this. Go ahead and make the threshold uh, 0.2. There we go. On the other side, make it 0, uh, minus 0.2. There we go, so they can overlap and they can go forwards at the same time, that's okay. On the one with the positive value, you want it to be 1. On the one with the negative value, you want it to be minus 1. And that is pretty much it, I believe. So if we go ahead and we spawn it in, let's see if we can make it drive properly. There we go, there we go. Wow, okay, it's way longer than the previous thing, but we can make it go forwards. We should be able to make it go to the right and to the left. But we can't. <laughs> but we can't. Why? Why not? Okay, hold on. Uh, is that connected to A and D? It is. Everything should be right. Off value. Off value. Oh, there we go. You need to connect these two up as well. Uh, and that'll allow the on signal to actually go through. So that's one thing that I forgot. Um, but I am learning at the same time as you guys. So there we go. Uh, now the track should go at the same speed forwards. We should be able to turn to the right. There we go. And we should be able to turn to the left as well if we go ahead and repress A. There we go, beautiful. So, anyway, I'm going to leave this here for now. I'm going to say thank you guys for watching. This is a quick tutorial on how to actually do this. I will upload this vehicle so you guys can actually look at it, maybe take the parts off it and just, just copy and paste it in if you need them. Um, it is a very simple uh, way of doing things, but um, yeah, obviously you guys will be able to do it now. Anyway, thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed it. See you guys in the next one. Goodbye.